one. Welcome back, everybody, to part three of Telltale Games Game of Thrones. We're going to continue with episode one. I have no idea how long I've got left of this. There's probably another, there's probably this part, this will probably end episode one, I'm not sure. But let's have a look. Okay, the young prince, remember, was called back to speak to uh, your uncle. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. Tell him to go away. I'll throw him out the gate myself if you'd like. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing Sorry. of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand The backing of House Bolton? Only cowards and dead men know the fact. And here he is, I presume. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Penis Face. Hello, chubby. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. Me, 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 and me, no me. bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Maybe well, I now the that. Starks are no longer around <laughs> to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Shut up. I'm not when leaving you... until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You yeah. bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Have you forgotten your manners? Yes, you fat fuck. I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's yes, it over is. when my son says it is. This... Is over, Lord Whitehill. Yeah. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, 
Then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. Yep. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new yep. Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then uh -huh. we'll see whose word is law. Do it. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Yeah, I have no idea what a craven is. It's not John, but he's something. Bye! <laughs> I was defiant and not diplomatic. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. Thanks, but you'll Mom. need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a Ooh, raven. Ramsay's... We need to send word to Mira that in John King's Snow's Landing son. at once. Son. I like John Snow. Hello, John Snow. Wow. John Snow. Your sister can help us. Can she? Although what? just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may Hi, be enough Myra. to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. You look miserable, love. I have no idea what I'm doing here with her. You know, she can help us, but how? Oh, what's this? Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, let's look at the unfinished letter, everybody. I bet it's disgusting and it's full of dirty things. Probably not, actually. I'm lying. Let's read it. It's her personal mail. We're her. We can read it. We're okay. It's Father, not morally... Oh. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Okay, so she's lonely. She's homesick. Ethan made this for me. I think this is Ethan's big sister. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Let's see what importance this coin has. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Home. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. <laughs> no. It's piss and rain, love. Like it always does. Here's Mummy's letter. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yep. Help us, wench. Do your duty to your family. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. One moment. Oh. You know, there's oh, not. Oh, there is. Sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. What is it, Waif? No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you're right. If you don't mind my asking, 
You seem rather upset. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Okay. You know, incest. They appear Woo! to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... It was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Dun dun dun... I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. No, you're not. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Thank you. Nice lad. Good night, my lady. Bye. I don't sound very leader lately, do I? Bye. Tally ho. We'll catch you later. Bye bye. Oh, hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. La 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 la. She's a bit of a hottie. Who's this? Hello. From Weird the day one. you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Really? You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have <laughs> a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Okay. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh, that's not nice. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. No, of you're not, love. not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Lie, you mean? I don't approve of lying. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. No lying. The fuck are you looking at? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. <sighs> really? Good luck. Thank you, strange girl I've never met before. Ah. The Lannisters. You can do this. Okay. I know. I'm fucking awesome. I take it Joffrey's dead now. The little shit. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? 
With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows oh, her courtesies. Such a... Impressive. She's a you may fucking... rise. Oh, I don't like her at all. House Never Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers. No. Nope. No. Nope. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. No, they're not. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Oh, really? Fuck you, sir. Is you your slut. house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? I don't know. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. Yep. That's the girl right. has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. Thank you, Tyrion. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. Are they not? now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. Well, that's fine, but you were fucking your brother. There are shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Yeah, huh? I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I is trust there? we can rely on House Forrester. Yes, you can. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Like, slit your throat, Ask you any Lannister, slut. and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I oh. hope you find it quickly. Yeah, because you're pissing me off as well, Cersei. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. Fucking women, This city eh? alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Uh-huh. Pretending to be something they're not. Really? Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One yes. can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, uh -huh. what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king. Yes, I'll choose that one. Holy I said, fuck. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Really? She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The Hi. most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. You gotta love Tyrion. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Pretty like you. Not very encouraging. Oh, you're a, you you fucked your brother, so you know what have you got to say? I'd for like yourself? a word with you, if I may. Ooh. Of course, Your Grace. No, oh, I kind of I think I pissed Marjorie off a little bit. Hi, Tyrion. I'll walk you out. Thank you. 
This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. He was. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although yeah. Cersei seemed Sorry. quite pleased. Well, It yeah. was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose I the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Yay! Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Mm, Are you okay. willing to risk that? Well... It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested it. such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Yes. Please. You I have to are secure the future for my house. You? Yes, I am. What? I'll consider it. I'm a boy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Ah, Sansa. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Horrible peoples. Hello. Mira, I was worried. Were you? How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But Bitch. at least it's over now. Is it? Is it really? Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. <sighs> Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? You it's stray true. whore. <laughs> and Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Wow. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Well, you know, it's Joffrey. Would you really? Would you marry Joffrey if it no. meant you'd become queen? <laughs> Fuck no. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, no. I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. Yeah. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. <clears throat> Yet they say it is men who are powerful. 
The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I Maybe. know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Uh-huh. Really? Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Yep. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Massively. I do Boltons appreciate again. your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. No, I don't. I prefer to speak with you alone. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown, I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over no. him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. No. It's urgent. Come on, Marge. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave that recording there for there. Um, I don't know how much we're going to get out of the next episode on this, but thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.